Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and it has been way too long since I've done a video. I just wanted to get back in here as quick as possible. I'm trying to go through and do a bunch of videos th uh, today and tomorrow, trying to basically get a bunch done so that I can space them out and have them drop at a timed period, basically schedule the time so that uh, I can re release a bunch out over the next week. Things have been crazy busy, it's market season. I've had a lot of orders for the melters, the DIY kits, so it's a very good thing. But when I get home and I start doing those, by the time I get time, to do videos, I'm just exhausted and I haven't been doing them, which is very unfortunate because I love doing these videos and I have a lot of people asking me when the next one's coming out. So here it is. And the one that I wanted to go over with right now is a very quick video. This was brought to my attention by a member of the group, Corey Salazar. She runs the uh, smellgoods.net. I've included a link to all her uh, social media stuff, her website, Facebook, Instagram, all down in the video description down below. And I wanted to give her a shout out for this one because this tip has changed my life basically, changed my candle making life. This is a, uh, a brand new, or not even a brand new, this is a, uh, a new way to hold wicks. It, it's my new favorite way. And what it is are basic bag clips or chip clips, whatever you wanna call these things. These things are absolutely incredible for holding wicks. They snap apart like that. They hold the wicks nice and tight. These things are absolutely unbelievable. I got these at Amazon. Again, I've included a link down below to Amazon where you can pick these up. They are 30 in a pack for $7.99, so they're incredibly cheap. I picked up three packs of these and I don't think I'm gonna need any more. I might get one more just in case I do like 100 plus candles in a day, which is rare, but I have done that. Three of these is gonna go a long ways. Two, one or two of these is gonna go a long way for most people. But these things are absolutely incredible. They hold the wick incredibly well, very tight. I've got a couple different ones here. I mean, these things are not moving anywhere. They hold it extremely tight. And if you've got your wick secured or uh, glued down extremely well, it's not gonna pop these things out. Now, if you're gluing your wicks down or holding your wicks down with wax or even some of the hot glues, these might pull them out just because they hold it so tight. But if you're using red RTV, which I've talked about on this channel quite a bit, these things are not going anywhere. And the thing I like about this is you're not gonna get wandering wicks, which we all have. So as soon as you pour the wicks using like clothespins or the popsicle sticks or even the metal wick tabs, I've had those drift over time and uh, I do not see this happening with these. Now that's not to say that it can't happen, but it's definitely gonna happen a lot less with these. And I've tried these just about on every jar. They fit extremely well on this one. Uh, it goes corner to corner, but you definitely have to pay attention to this one because I think if you gave this one a nice nudge, it would kind of fall in there. But again, that's still holding incredibly well. And if I position that just a little bit better, like that right there, it's not gonna go anywhere. And then not only does it do single and double wicks, but it holds triple and four wicks. Uh, even, I mean, you can go up from there, but these things hold extremely well. I've got this one placed with a couple chopsticks going across and then two wicks or two uh, kind of chip clips going across those. So these are incredibly nice. If you haven't picked these up, I know a ton of people in the group have picked these up and they're loving them, but I wanted to make a video about these and kind of get that out there. And again, thank you to uh, Corey Salazar. These things are absolutely amazing and uh, they have definitely changed how I put my wicks up now. So that's it. I've got another video coming hopefully later today. I'm going to try to get two out today and at least two out tomorrow just to kind of catch up with things. Uh, and as always, if you're not in the Facebook group, definitely jump over there. There's a lot of good information going back and forth between the group and the members, just like these uh, wick clips that I just talked about. A lot of good discussions that uh, are always welcome, new beginners, advanced users, very friendly group and a group that's very active. So if you do have anything that you're not seeing here or at my channel or any other channel, please jump over to the Facebook group and ask it in there so you can get some help. And as always, you can follow me at all the social media links that I have down in the video description down below, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, the website uh, here at the YouTube channel. Everything is listed down below. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you.